the idea of using things like uh, BIM have just accelerated over the last decade. Um, and of course, BIM is using this advanced 3D modeling to create a virtual model of a structure. And you're, you're seeing uh, folks use this and really improve the accuracy of their projects. To me, I don't know if you've heard this, but to me, I think what BIM really is, it is the gateway drug to actually getting into digital twins. Now, before we started, uh, you know, we chatted a little bit about digital twins. And um, let, for, for those of you in the audience who are not totally familiar with digital twins, so it's basically your Apple Watch, as you mentioned, on a digital replica. So you can constantly see what's happening with that structure. I think the promise of the digital twins is now it's really about automating our operations. It's about automated progress monitoring. It's about resource planning and logistics, uh, better safety monitoring, better quality assessments, better optimization of equipment usage. Like if this board, if this board had a digital twin to it, what we could essentially do is understand when this digital board is being used, how many times it's being used, uh, if it's on the brink of getting broken. And so this is, I think, what the future of BIM really looks like is, is creating these digital twins.